Well, hey friends and Merry Christmas. We are getting ready to decorate our Christmas tree and I thought I would bring you along with us as we do that. So this is our first year with this Christmas tree. Um, the tree that we had prior was a gift when my husband and I got married from his aunt. She was kind of getting rid of it. We were poor little people and um, she we didn't have money for a Christmas tree that year and she gifted it to us. Uh, and last year it kind of just was hanging on for dear life. Uh, the tree at that point was about 30 years old but it looked beautiful and um, it was because of the lights and the ribbons and all of the things and you would never have known that it was 30 years but it was time to invest in something new so um we got this one and i'm going to share with you how i am decorating it so my decorating style i don't really do a theme with our tree our tree is basically um we decorate with ornaments that we've collected throughout the years um so it's more of a sentimental tree however i like to tie it together with some different things that make it look like a more cohesive tree so i'm going to share with you how i do that how we put on the ribbon and such you're probably going to hear my kiddos in the background sorry about that this is just real mom life one thing that you want to do when you pull your tree out of the box is to fluff <laughs> This step is tedious, it's long, it can be really boring, but it makes all the difference in whether your tree looks great or not. Um, I just don't skip it, please. I find there's nothing sadder when it comes to Christmas decorating than an unfluffed tree. It just looks terrible. My kiddos like to get involved with the process. My kiddos are really young um, and they just get in there and they pull those branches apart. I'm not looking for perfection from them. Um, they just kind of get the process started and mommy can go behind and tweak everything to make it look good. Um, but they enjoy it. I would recommend if you have really sensitive skin, wear gloves uh, and put on some Christmas music and get to it. It can take a while, but it makes all the difference in the world. The general rule of thumb is that for every foot tall that your tree is, you want a strand of 100 lights. So our tree is seven and a half feet tall. It came with 900 lights on it, but I just really like a lot of twinkle. So I'm gonna add a couple more. And another tip that I'll pass along to you um, to give your tree a bit of interest is to actually use a strand of lights that are a different shape than what the standard light bulb is. It will give your tree some interest. So for instance, I have this strand of lights and these are little tiny globe lights. You can't really tell, but the bulbs are actually different. So some of them are frosted and some of them are more opaque and there are a few that are even clear. So the round shape gives just a little bit of something extra to the tree. Now you could also add like maybe a really soft like little twinkling light or maybe even a larger shaped bulb just to give the tree a bit of definition and a little bit of interest. So I'm going to go ahead and add these onto the tree. Okay, so adding those few lights just lit up a few darker spots that I had in the tree and I'm loving how it looks. Okay, so let's talk about adding ribbon to your tree. I started doing this a few years ago and it just made so much of a difference in my tree. If you're new to adding ribbon, it can be look a little intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. So I am just reusing ribbon that I have used for the past few years. Um, I just pick it up at the local craft store when ribbon is on sale. I use a few different ribbons on my tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this red because there's nothing like red at Christmas. I also have this gold, which is just, there's something again about glitter uh, at Christmas that is just my heart. It makes my heart sing. And then I picked up this ribbon. It's a burlap and it says joy to the world in red glitter. And I think these three combined are gonna be gorgeous. You're also gonna want a pair of really sharp scissors. I just basically use these mostly for fabric to keep them nice and sharp. 
so here we go. All right, so you're gonna start with your ribbon. I like to use a wider ribbon because you get more bang for your buck um, and it's more substantial looking on your tree. I like to use at least two ribbons together, but I'm gonna start with this one and I like to do something I call dovetailing on the end. So what that means is you take your scissors and you are just going to fold your ribbon in half like so. And you're going to take your sharp little scissors and you are going to start right in the corner and cut on an angle. And you're going to have a beautiful a dovetail or V point, whatever you'd like to call it. Now I already have a guide because I have this ribbon from last year and the year before that I have used. Um, but you're just going to cut like a few feet at a time. So I've got my ribbons already here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two ribbons. Again, you can just use one if you want. Um, but I do like the two. So I'm gonna match them up together. And I'm just gonna pinch them together so I have kind of these tails here. And I like a longer tail. And you're gonna start kind of at the top of your tree. So you're gonna take your ribbon, pinch it together, and you're going to take and put it deep into your tree. And then you're going to grab a branch and you're going to twist it around the ribbon and that is going to hold your ribbon and then I go ahead and I take my ribbon and I make a loop and then I'm going to again take it deep into the tree wrap it a branch around the ribbon and then I've got this nice long piece again, and I'm going to do the same thing. Make your loop. And put it deep into the tree. And then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do your V cut again. Just pinch your ribbon. Okay, so then I like to go ahead and just separate the ribbons a bit. So when you're doing your ribbon, it's going to look really weird at first. And you're going to maybe think, what have I done? But I promise you, just keep going. Because once it's all on, it makes all the difference. But it looks a little goofy when you first start. See? It doesn't look right. But once your whole tree is filled with ribbon and you've got your ornaments and you've got any other filler that you're gonna put on your tree, it's just gonna add that extra layer of goodness. Okay, so last time I put this Joy to the World ribbon on top, this time I'm gonna use my gold. This will just give it a little bit of a different bit of interest. Everything's not gonna be so super uniform. So you're gonna just make a nice long tail Give it just a little pinch, and this is where your branch is just going to wrap around your ribbon.
progress on the tree. The lighting is getting a lot darker, which I actually like because I love to decorate the tree at night. It just is so twinkly and lovely. I went ahead and I added lots of raffia onto the tree. I had not initially planned to do that, but I had it actually in my Christmas tubs because years ago I have wrapped trees in raffia. Um, I added, you know, different picks and things um, that I showed you to the tree to add a bit of dimension and sparkle because I love sparkle on a Christmas tree. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some of our anchoring ornaments. This broom behind me is driving me crazy, but I'm sweeping as I go. Um, so I add lots of larger, usually red balls in various finishes. So I have glitter ones, I have matte ones, and then I have shiny ones. I also have a few mercury glass type large balls, and I got all of these at the dollar store. The thing I love about getting these ball ornaments at the Dollar Tree is that they are so inexpensive. You can get a long tube of like 10 ornaments for a dollar. Um, and if they break or I've noticed like sometimes over the years, the color will start to tarnish. I don't feel bad about throwing away ornaments that I got for just a few cents. So I will add a lot of those anchoring ornaments onto the tree because my focus is to give the tree one cohesive look and then we will go ahead and fill in with all of our themed family sorry. ornaments. Again, I'm sorry for the kiddos, it's just real life. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My husband has went to go get pizza and as we're, you know, just sitting here in the living... <laughs> We're going to have some pizza while uh, we do some decorating. We're going to put on a Christmas movie. And once I get all of those um, anchoring ornaments on, then we will decorate as the family.